Hello guys, welcome to Amit Thinks. In this video, we will learn how to install the current Eclipse version on Windows 11. Let's see. At first, go to the web browser. On Google, type Eclipse and press enter. Now the official website is visible eclipse.org. I clicked on it. Here is the website. Ok, now directly click the download button. After reaching the downloads, the current version would be always visible here. This is for 64 bit Windows operating system. Click. Here is the download page. You can see for 64 bit. And it includes Java also. So you don't need to install Java before installing Eclipse. Click download. Now the download will start. Here it is. Eclipse comes pre-installed with Java. Okay, so you don't need to worry about Java now. 131 MB. We have downloaded it. Now right click and click open to begin the installation of Eclipse. Minimize. Now the Eclipse installation started. Here are the versions. For Java developers, click on the following. For C, C++, click here. For web development, like for PHP developers, click here. I want for Java. So, I'll click Eclipse ID for Java developers. On clicking, you can see it. It is automatically showing the current Java version. So, you don't need to install it. Okay. This includes both Java, JDK, JRE, everything else for Java. And Eclipse will get installed in the following location. Okay. It will create a start menu entry as well as a desktop shortcut. No problem. Click install. Accept now. Now it will install. Let's wait. So guys, we have installed Eclipse. You can directly click launch here. I'll click. The desktop shortcut is also visible. Now you need to set the directory for workspace. So this is a place wherein all your project files, folders and plugins will get saved. So keep it as it is. You can copy this also. Okay. Set it as default. So now you don't need to set the workspace again and again. All your projects will get saved here. I'll copy. Click launch. Now we have launched our Eclipse. Okay, now I'll create a file. Close this. File new. Java project. Let me name Amit application. It has automatically selected the current Java version. I'll remove this. This is a basic project. So I'll click next. Here is the path. If you remember, I told you all the projects will go under the Eclipse workspace. So I'll click next. We also saved this path before. Okay, click next. Click finish. Now we have a new project. Okay, I'll also show you the path later. Right click new java class we can mention the package name also let's say i'll mention com.studiopedia file name let's say i'll mention demo okay rest keep as it is finish now here we have our first file i'll print something quickly using System dot out dot println. Let me print my name Amit Divan. That's it. File save all. You can run from here or you can right click and uh, select run as the first one. Here it is. We printed uh, the output successfully. Now let us see the path. So a path I saved before. So if you remember, it was the following path 
okay this was our workspace name we kept the default and here is our project amit application here it is and within that i'll show you the file source com com dot studio beta package here it is java demo dot java here it is so in this way guys we successfully installed eclipse and ran our first java project on eclipse thank you for watching the video